Hello everybody, welcome to the channel. Today, let me tell you about a free mod that's available that helps you boost your game's performance on your Steam Deck Steam OS. So what this mod does, it actually enables frame generation for games that normally wouldn't have it on your Steam Deck. So today's game I'm going to show you is Marvel Spider-Man Remastered. So let me just boot into the game. Um, I've already got the mod installed, but don't worry, I'll show you how to do that later on in the video. Right now, let's just check it out. Okay, so... I've got these messages. Just click OK to boot into the game. So I've already got the mod installed. Um, I can enable DLSS, uh, which isn't really DLSS, but yeah, I can en enable that and I can toggle on frame generation. Um, I'll show you what I'm talking about. So if you go to my settings, display and graphics. So here's my settings, window mode full screen. Maybe I'll change it to exclusive full screen. Yep, exclusive full screen. 720p because I'm on the Steam Deck and then VSync off, NVIDIA Reflex Low Latency on plus boost. As you can see here, DLSS frame generation. I can toggle this on and off because I've already got the mod installed. Okay, so upscale method, I'm just going to keep it at um, off right now. I'll show you um, what it's like uh, normally. So I've got DLSS super resolution, but yeah, I'm going to show you off and TAA, anti aliasing TAA. Okay. So right now, let's just start the game and see what we normally get when we play on the Steam Deck. So if you're already playing this game on the Steam Deck, I think you already know. I think you get around 30-ish, 40 frames. Uh, it, it's okay. It, it doesn't run too bad, this game. So this is no upscaling. I've only got anti-aliasing TAA on. And you get like 30-ish, 40 frames, which isn't really... It's not too bad. Not too bad, really. I think the PlayStation 4 version, the one which I played, uh, also runs at 30 frames, so... Okay, so now, if I go to settings, let me show you. So, display and graphics. So, this game built-in has FSR 2.1, I think it is. Let me see. Um... Yeah, it's got AMD FSR 2.1. So let's let's try this out. This is the built-in um, upscaler for the game. Actually, pretty much the same. And I think the graphics does look worse with the with the FSR. It doesn't look too good with FSR. And not much performance gain. Yeah, so I wouldn't use this normally. I'll just keep it off. Okay, so now let me show you frame generation. So DLSS frame generation on and upscale method. I find that XEXS uh, is better because... Um, I think the mod also updated the XEXS to 1.3 and it actually looks better. And we can use ultra quality. So apply changes. And you can see immediately we get a performance boost. See, we're getting like 50 or 60 already. I think we can achieve a 60. And the graphics looks better. I think it looks sharper. And make sure if you're doing this, don't um, don't limit the frame rate because if you limit the frame rate, you get some input lag. So what I mean is when you press the three dot button on your Steam Deck uh, here, make sure you don't um, don't limit it. So don't go 30 FPS, something like this. Like I feel it's it's laggy. The input latency is is quite like you can really feel it. So yeah, make sure. Yeah, I just disable frame limit. That feels much more responsive. Looks like Yuri called in the cavalry. Yeah, so we can get like 60 FPS. Sometimes it dips a little bit to the 50-ish. But um, yeah, I think I'm using actually using the very high graphics so if you set it to like high or medium 
Let's try medium. Yeah, if you're medium, you're, you're, you're pretty much guaranteed 60 above. I was using very high, so that's pretty crazy. Okay, so... Yeah, you can test out the settings. I'll take you to my Steam Deck's desktop mode, and I'll show you what it's all about. So you see you back in desktop mode. Okay, so welcome back to my Steam Deck's desktop mode. The first thing you need to do is locate your game folder. So I've got mine right here. It's in um, Games Marvel Spider-Man Remastered. And yeah, this is just the root of my game folder. And it's where I'm going to install the mod files. So make sure you locate your game folder. And second, you need to download the mod. So I'll link this in the description. Go to nexusmods.com and you'll go to this page, DLSS Enabler. That's the mod. Okay, click on Files and then Manual Download. Make sure you've already like logged into Nexus Mods to download. And here it says something about the reg files. Don't have to worry about that yet. I'll tell you about that later. Just click Download and then select Slow Download or Fast Download if you have the premium account. Okay, and download the mod. I've got the mod already downloaded. It's right here in my downloads folder. This one, DLSS enabler. It's an EXE file. So if you're concerned, you're worried it's a virus, um, do this at your own risk. I'm just here to show you that I've done it. All right. So you might be a little bit more comfortable. So this is the EXE file. It's an installer to install the mod files. So what I like to do is I like to create another folder in my downloads folder called DLSS enabler. Okay, it's just a blank folder and I'm going to use that installer to extract those mod files. So I'm going to extract those mod files with Proton Tricks. So if you don't have Proton Tricks, go to the taskbar at the bottom left here, Discover Software Center, and just type in Proton Tricks in the search bar. And you see this red wine glass icon app. All right, make sure you install it and make sure you've already in, um, like run the game at least once. Um, so when you launch Proton Tricks, it should be able to find your game. So I've got my game right here, non-Steam Shotcut, Marvel Spider-Man Remastered. It's right here. Just double click on the game. Okay, here's my, like, the folder I created, DLSS Enabler. Okay, so I'm going to populate those with my mod files. Just wait for Proton Tricks to load up. Okay, it's right here. Select the default wine prefix, click OK. And then here, um, click Run Uninstaller. OK. OK, here, click Install. I'm going to go to my Downloads folder. So this is the .exe file that I downloaded from Nexus Mods. Double click this. OK, I accept the agreement. Next. And then Next. And here we need to locate our folder. So I'm going to install it here to the Downloads folder DLSS Enabler, which I created. So Browse. And then I know it's in the Z drive because Z drive is my Steam Deck's internal SSD. And then Home, Deck, Downloads, and then here it is, DLSS Enabler. Okay, make sure the path is correct. I'm going to click Next. And then here, I'm going to select the first one, Install DLSS Enabler, the version.dll file. And make sure you also check this, Enable support for AMD and Intel GPUs because... Um, it's like we're installing this on our Steam Deck and it's using an AMD GPU. So you need to make sure this is checked. Next, install. And you can see it populated with the files. And here, we don't need to read the readme file. Just uncheck this, finish. Okay. Then what you want to do is you want to select all these files. And you want to copy it. See this libxexs.dr. This is the updated version. It's a 1.3. So we're just going to copy it, all those files, those mod files, over to the root of our game folder, Marvel Spider Man Remastered. So paste, and I'm just going to overwrite them all. So yeah, it overrided this as well. This is the xexs. So I think it actually looks quite good because it's a newer version. It's a 1.3 version. Okay. And once we've copied over the mod files, you want to also check uh, for the files this disable nvidia signature checks okay once you find this file copy it and paste it onto your desktop because we need it so just paste one file I already have it so i'm just going to overwrite paste it in your desktop because we want to access it easily 
Okay, and now we're going to do that reg file thing that um, Nexus mod was telling you about. Remember when we were back here when we were trying to download, manual download, I tell, told you about these reg files. All right, what you need to do is if you haven't quit out of Proton Tricks, like I haven't here, just go to run reg edit. If you quit already, like Proton Tricks, doesn't matter, open it up again and select Marvel Spider Man Remastered and then run reg edit. Okay. And then here, go to registry, import registry file and select desktop. That's why I put this file on my desktop because it's easy to locate. So disable NVIDIA signature checks dot reg. Just double click it and you should see this message. The keys and values contained in blah, blah, blah were successfully added to the registry. Once you see this, click OK and then just exit out of Proton Trick. So cancel, cancel. And that's basically done. And the final step we need to do is we need to open up Steam, select your game, click on the gear icon, properties, and make sure in the launch options, you have this command. So wine DLL overrides equals quotation marks version, comma DXGI equals N comma B, N quotation marks, and then space percentage command percentage. I'll put this in the description so you can copy and paste it in case there's any typos. So once that's done, we're done. Just test out your game. So I'm going to click play on desktop mode. So it works on desktop mode and gaming mode. I think I've already shown you gaming mode, like bef uh, like the start of the video. So I'm going to show you desktop mode. So here I get that error message. It's okay. And then if you go to settings, all right, you can see upscale method. We've got DLSS. We've got uh, frame generation. We can on and off it. All right. But I think the best that I've found is XEXS plus the DLSS frame generation and then set it to ultra quality and then graphics maybe set it to medium if you want like better frames or high medium or high like very high you might dip below 60 so I think medium high is the best and I also turned off motion blur so I'll turn off motion blur and I'll turn off film grain that's something I don't really like so okay and yeah, let's just run it again. Just run it again and I'll show you the in-game settings as well. So if you're liking the video so far, make sure you hit the thumbs up. It really helps out the channel. And if you're new here, make sure you subscribe. We talk a lot about gaming handhelds, especially the Steam Deck, Lenovo Legion Go, Nintendo Switch. We also talk a lot about emulation, mods, cheats, trainers, stuff like that. So if that's your thing, make sure you subscribe. Don't miss out on my videos. Okay, so put into the game and settings, display and graphics. Yeah, you can see here the LSS frame generation on and off. Yeah, we can toggle this on and off. And upscale, we've also got the LSS and others like yeah. But XEXS is really good. I actually like this. So yeah, I think I'll leave it here. If you have any questions, let me know in the comment section. I'll try my best to help you out. But I think it's pretty straightforward. Um, if you do have questions, like give me some details, what you did, uh, what's different from the video, something like that. Um, so I can work with that. All right. So yeah, that's it. I'll see you guys in the next one. Later.